Hey y'all! So today is Monday, September 26th, or the 7th day in my Kickstart to Keto series. I may run this little series about another week or so. I just really like uploading daily, and hopefully I can stick to everything 100% for the next week. So we will see. As always, starting my day off with a cup of coffee, two servings of heavy whipping cream that I drink through a straw because teeth, trying to keep them pearly whites white. And yeah, I'm headed off to class. It is a very gloomy day out. It is very gray and rainy. Now I have to walk all the way across campus. So fingers crossed that in the next hour this grossness dissipates because walking across campus in the rain is literally one of the worst things ever because you're soaking wet and there's a million people with umbrellas first world problems first world problems all right guys time for me to head to class and I actually did my makeup today let's see can you see it I don't think so there's not enough light but I got a little overzealous with the uh, darkness in my outer corner, so I had to pair it with a dark lip so I didn't look too much like a crazy person. Alright, let me go now. So last night I went through and uh, planned out my meals for the day. Going to have an omelet from Freshly for breakfast, some cauliflower or riced cauliflower with meatballs and butter. In dinner, I'm going to have zoodles with Alfredo and crawfish. And then I might have two of my pumpkin spice fat bombs just because I'm trying to eat those up and I needed more fat in my diet today. Or I may exchange those. I haven't decided yet. These two may be exchanged for butter or something in one of my other meals. I just kind of mess around with it for the day. And then I can go down and go to nutrition and click on macros. So I'm sitting at 71% fat, 21% protein, and 8% carbs. I wish I could get my fat up just a little bit more. So we will see how the day goes. Hey guys, so it's now about 10.45 and I just waited in line for way too long for a venti black iced coffee at Old Starbs, but I just really needed some caffeine. I'm a little dragging today. The weather is gloomy, and it just has got me in a little gloomy mood, but I need to run inside and work on my genetics work that I did not finish last night because it's due in three hours, so... I will check in with y'all when I finish that and can cook myself breakfast. I also think that I'm about to go inside and add two tablespoons of heavy cream to my coffee as well because I am kind of hungry and I don't have time to cook right now, so that'll hold me over for a little while. All right, see y'all in a bit. Gotta go do work. My first meal of the day is this freshly Denver omelet and I already started eating it because it was so good and I was hungry but look at how wonderful that looks even though it's half eaten. I pulled it out of the refrigerator, stuck it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds and then I toasted it to get that caramelized cheese on top and this is meal one of the day. I am currently headed off to my genetics lab. I got all my work finished. I got yesterday's video uploaded. It's been a productive couple of hours. So it's time to head to class and then lots of studying and some organizing and cleaning to do because my room looks like a tornado has gone through it. I literally have crap everywhere. It's a problem. Hey guys, so it's now 6 o'clock, 
I had lab from 150 to 440 and I didn't finish our work that was due today so they told us we could stay after and finish it if we wanted to so I sat there for an extra hour to do the homework so that I would not be penalized for turning in blank work so I'm gonna go home chug some cold water take the pup on a walk and then I'm going to make my second meal of the day it probably around 630 because this gal is a hungry gal then I'm gonna study organic chemistry may or may not work out again because school still needs to come first <sighs> I need food I need beverages the struggle is real when you need to study for organic chemistry, but you would much rather create your low carb ebook. I should probably do organic chemistry. The struggle is so real. I need more time in the day. <laughs> for dinner tonight, I have weighed out two cups of this riced cauliflower. I have two servings of these. Italian style chicken meatballs and then I'm going to cook it in two tablespoons of butter and I weighed all of this out so I know exactly how much I'm eating then go and just throw it in that pan all together and saute I just threw together my dinner it's just rice cauliflower chicken meatballs and butter I just wanted something very quick and easy to throw together because I am hungry because I haven't eaten in a while. So I'm going to eat this and I'm out of breath from walking up to the third floor to my room. You would think after living here a month I could walk up to the third floor without being out of breath. But I'm not. Alright, time to eat. I am going to take a few moments to clean my room because... It is a hot, hot mess. Let's just look at this pile of clothing. This is before. Let's see if I can make some changes. Since I have such a busy week ahead of me, I decided to take 30 minutes to clean my room. This is the cleanest it's been since I've moved in. I've got that. It's kind of like my gym tops, my supplements, my foam roller, my gym bag, hats that don't fit on my hat door. Let's look in my closet. Some of my boots, my all my shoes, clothes are actually hung and not on my floor. All the tennis shoes are in their spots. The makeup corner, filming. <laughs> desk, vanity, whatever this little corner is, it's kind of tidy or tidier than normal. I made my bed for the first time in ever and my desk is as organized as it's going to get. And I got a cute little dog who's toys. Y'all just saw me fix my last meal of the day. It, I cut up a zucchini into little cubes, used a little over a serving of that garlic mushroom alfredo sauce, an ounce and a half of cream cheese because I wanted to finish off the rest of the packet, and what else? And a serving of crawfish tails that I mixed all together, melted it down, let everything cook, and it was pretty darn delicious, I'd have to say. It is now like 9 o'clock, and I don't even know if I'm going to work out today. I think I'm about to take Bo on a long walk, and I may go run on the treadmill. I don't think I'm going to lift tonight. I just have so much studying to do. Like, not going to the gym five or six days in a row makes me feel like a failure. To be completely honest, sometimes I just have to choose schoolwork <laughs> over working out because I know 
if I'm doing okay with my diet, which I have done very well today, and I know that that is almost as beneficial as getting in a workout because it is 80% diet and 20% exercise, but I've gotten like over 10,000 steps today. I'm gonna go take Bo on a long walk. So sometimes getting sleep over workouts really is more beneficial. I want to work out, but it would take me an hour and a half to get there and work out, and then that's an hour and a half that could be spent here studying, and I have to be up early and have a long day tomorrow, so. <sighs> it's just a constant battle sometimes when I have busy weeks like this. <laughs> so much for cleaning my room. <laughs> I look over and he's pulled out the entire box of toys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dog. <laughs> he makes me laugh. This is why I have him here. So when I'm stressed, he makes me laugh. <laughs> hey guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for the day. It's about 10 o'clock and I am going to go shower and do some organic chemistry homework. And I've got a loud panter right there making noise where I'm trying to film. Anyways, I'm very proud of myself. I hit my macros. I actually did add in a little extra fat because, you know, trying to get reacquainted to this, I've been told to up my fats a little bit to help me feel better and I was getting a little hungry. So, I up my fats a little bit. We'll see how that goes if they start to taper off a little bit as my body gets more accustomed to keto once again. And I just wanted to thank all of y'all for watching this video. Be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all again tomorrow. Bye guys!